everything okay? Um, it's okay. My Balkesh is still intact. I wasn't asking about your Balkesh. I was worried about you. But you see, my life is Balkesh. Get yourself a new life. Nope. Welcome to the spider web. I'm Nathan Spider and my mission is to unbox and review Hasbro's Roar Balkesh B7. Roar Balkesh has to be my favorite quad drive Beyblade in the anime, so this unboxing is very special to me. Before we begin, I'd like to say thank you to all my fans for being so patient. Whether you're new to the channel or you've been here since the very beginning, I hold you all in high regard. We will actually start with the driver. Edge Quad Drive. Edge is not good. Edge has never been good. There was no iteration of Edge that was good. As we can see, the shape is very pointy. So a lot of balance is just gone. The spring in this driver is also just okay. It's nothing way too crazy. So that is another thing. Versus this is unless the slopes are that good. So, eh, driver definitely could have been much better, but hey, at least we got a new part. Now we have Moment Quad Drive, the armor tip. This armor tip is actually very good. I know the original Moment from Takara Tommy had a free spinning ball. But this armor tip does not have that, clearly. Even then, this armor tip does give Bayes great balance and a lot of stamina. Only downside to this is probably these little points here. If you knock this over a little too much, this will probably scrape against the stadium floor. So keep that in mind. Connecting the armor tip to the full driver, we now have 7.5 grams of weight. Next up we have the disc, which is Giga. Giga Quad Drive is very good. As you can see, it weighs a little for 25 grams, but the weight itself isn't the main positive. What really makes this disc super good is how round and wide it is. So giving a bay a disc like Giga will really help increase stamina and balance. I can definitely see Roar Balkesh having a lot of stamina, especially if you pair it up with this guy. We now have 10. Weighs 1.65 grams. Nothing too special about it. It's just a gravity ring. Now we have the Roar Blade. Roar is super round. Super duper round. It's gonna be so hard to burst this guy. This is probably one of the best blades that Hasbro made. It is a less spin only blade and it weighs about 6.8 grams. Even then, very solid. Now we have the Balkesh B7 drive chip. Very cool looking chip. Probably one of the coolest looking ones. I know I'm probably biased because I love Balkesh and I know looks are subjective, but personally, I think this chip is one of the best looking quad drive chips. Chip itself weighs about 4.8 grams, not crazy at all. But, I'm pretty sure the slope, the 
slopes, solid. They're not too crazy, like super duper OP, but they are not trash, thankfully. <laughs> Very good. Layer in full, 13.24 grams. And now we have the whole Beyblade that weighs exactly 46 grams. Yup. This is my favorite Quadra Bay. All right, test launching in three, two, one, let it rip. Woo! Okay, launcher, quite solid. Gets the job done, although there are much better launchers out there. Also, look at this guy. It looks so good. Even when it doesn't spin, it looks pretty decent. But when it spins, oh my gosh. That was more with moment. Now let's try Edge! I'm pretty sure as soon as I hit this thing, it's gonna be like... It's a hit like... Huh, not as wobbly as I initially thought it would be after getting hit. Maybe if it was like... A <laughs> yeah! See, that's why I don't like Edge. Terrible life after death. We're gonna use Apex Mode with Edge. This is definitely the worst combination, don't get me wrong. But, we're facing Dread Hades. Ooh! Man, look, look at that bad life after that. Look at that bad balance. And then it also doesn't help that these things are present. It's bad. I don't think I have to use it ever again throughout this video. Okay. Let's try this again. 3, 2, 1, minute. Okay. Now try to stop us, Hades. Valkesh is eternal. We have stamina now. You do not. In your face. Salvage Valtriac. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Woo! Arden, bursting in action. Salvage, pushing Roar around. Roar can't maintain center control, but the matter, because Roar got the defense and the stamina. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Try this one more time versus Savage. Woo! Roar, don't burst. Already hyped up how invincible you were. Dang! And the slope. Correction, the disc prongs did not slide. Nothing to report. Not even a smidge. Even after such a big blow from Salvage, who we know can burst these quadrat bays. Vanish Fafnir. Same spin battle. Stamina versus defense. Yeah, stamina wins. Try this again. Alright, Roar, use a special move. Something. Just win. Yeah, just win. Three, two, one, minute. Okay. It's time for the spider stats. This starter pack scores an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Roar Balkesh is a strong Beyblade with high defense and great stamina. 
Most parts are great for customization and the bay looks cool. The launcher, while basic, functions with no issues and it has good power to it. The bay is missing a few notable paint details. The driver, Edge Quad Drive, does not perform well without the armor tip. It has weak stamina and poor balance, despite being a stamina driver. Overall, I believe this starter pack is a great choice for Beyblade Burst fans, as the cons certainly do not outweigh the pros. I recommend buying this toy product whenever you can. Alright Bladers, that is the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on any more future uploads. Thank you all for watching, and keep blading.